Father, I relax into your truth. I focus my thinking on your heart and your word. I find myself conforming to John chapters 14 through 17. Lord Jesus, I believe on you whom God has sent. The works that you do, I do also. And greater works I do because you are with the Father. Whatever I ask in your name, Lord, you do it. That the Father may be glorified in you. Anything I ask in your name, Lord, you do it. I love you, Lord. I do whatever you say. Jesus, you asked the Father to send the Comforter to me. Holy Spirit, you live with me forever. I know you, Holy Spirit. You are the Spirit of truth. You are with me and you live in me. Jesus, you have not left me comfortless. You have not left me as an orphan. You have come to me. I see you, Jesus. And because you live, I live also. Jesus, I know that you are in the Father. I am in you. You are in me. I have your commandments, Lord, and I keep them. I love you, Jesus. Because I love you, the Father loves me. Lord Jesus, you love me, and you manifest yourself to me. Because I love you, Lord, I keep your words, and the Father loves me. Jesus, both you and the Father come to me. You make your home in me. Those that do not love you do not keep your sayings. The words that you speak, they're not your own, but they are the Father's which sent you. Lord, I have the words that you spoke to us while you were present on the earth. But the Father has sent the Comforter, who is the Holy Ghost, in your name to me. Holy Spirit, you teach me all things, and you remind me of all the things which Jesus has already said. Lord, I have the same peace that you have. You have given your peace to me, and it's not like the world's peace. I never let my heart be troubled. I never let my heart be afraid. Jesus, you left this earth, but you have come again to me. I love you, and I rejoice that you are with the Father, for the Father is greater than you. You told us about this before it happened, and I believe you. The prince of this world has nothing in you, Lord. Jesus, I know that you love the Father, and you do the Father's commandments. Lord, I go with you. Jesus, you are the vine, and the Father is the husbandman. I am a branch of you, the vine. Every non-fruit bearing branch in me, the Father cuts away. Every branch in me that bears fruit, the Father prunes it, so that I may bring forth more fruit. I am pruned through the word that you have spoken unto me. I live in you, Lord. You live in me. I cannot bear fruit by myself, but I bear fruit as I live in you. Lord Jesus, you are the vine. I am a branch in you. I live in you. You live in me. I bring forth much fruit from you, for without you, I can do nothing. If I separate myself from you, I will wither and be cast forth as a branch. Fruitless branches are cast into the fire and are burned. But I live in you, Lord, and your words live in me. I ask what I will, and it is done unto me. The Father is glorified when I bear much fruit. This is how I am your disciple. Jesus, I know that you love me as the Father has loved you, and I continue in your love. As I keep your commandments, 
I live in your love. Just like you keep the Father's commandments, and you live in his love. Jesus, you have spoken these things unto me, in order that your joy might remain in me, and that my joy might be full. Your joy is in me, and my joy is full. This is your commandment, that we love one another as you have loved us. The greatest love is this, I lay down my life for my friends. Lord, I do whatever you command me. I am your friend. You do not call me your servant, for a servant does not know what his Lord is doing. But you call me your friend. Everything that the Father tells you, Lord, you have made known unto me. Jesus, I did not choose you. You have chosen me and ordained me that I should go and bring forth fruit and that my fruit should remain. Whatsoever I ask of the Father in your name, the Father gives it me. Jesus, you have commanded us to love one another. If the world hates me, I know that it hated you before it hated me. If I were of the world, the world would love its own. But I'm not of the world. You have chosen me out of the world. Therefore, the world hates me. I'm not greater than you, Lord. The world persecuted you. The world persecutes me also. If the world kept your sight, they will keep mine also. Lord Jesus, the world does not know the Father who sent you. But the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, has come from the Father to me. And he testifies of you, and I also bear witness of you. The truth is, it is better for me that you left to be with the Father. Because you went away, the Comforter has come unto me. You left in order to send the Comforter unto me. The Comforter reproves the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin, because they believe not on you. Of righteousness, because you have gone to be with the Father, and they see you no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. The natural man cannot bear all the words of truth, but the Spirit of truth has come unto me. O Holy Spirit, you guide me into all truth. You do not speak of yourself, but whatsoever you hear, that do you speak unto me, and you show me things to come. Spirit of truth, you glorify Jesus. You receive of what is his, and you show it unto me. Lord Jesus, all things that the Father has belongs to you. That's why you said that the Spirit of truth shall take what belongs to you, and he'll show it unto me. Jesus, I see you now. My heart rejoices. No man can take my joy from me. I ask you nothing, but whatsoever I ask the Father in your name, the Father gives it to me. I ask and I receive in your name. My joy is made full. Jesus, you no longer speak to me in Proverbs. Today you show me plainly of the Father. I ask in your name, and you do not pray the Father for me, for the Father himself loves me, because I have loved you, and I have believed that you came out from God. I am at peace. In the world I shall have tribulation, but I am of good cheer. Lord Jesus, you have overcome the world. The hour has come, Lord. You are glorified that you may also glorify the Father. You have power over all flesh, that you should give eternal life to as many as the Father has given you. This is life eternal, that I may know the Father, the only true God, and you, Jesus Christ, whom the Father has sent. You have glorified the Father on the earth. You have finished the work that the Father gave you to do. The Father has glorified you with his own self. 
with the glory which you had before the world was. You have manifested unto me the Father's name. The Father gave me out of the world unto you. I belonged to the Father, and the Father gave me to you, and I have kept the Father's word. I know that all things whatsoever the Father has given you is of the Father. You have given unto me the words which the Father gave you. I have received those words. I know for sure that you came out from the Father, and I believe that the Father has sent you. Jesus, you have prayed for me. The Father gave me to you. You did not pray for the world, but for me, because I belong to the Father. I belong to you, Lord, and I belong to the Father. Jesus, you are glorified in me. You are no longer in the world, but I am in the world. The Father keeps me through his own name. I am one with my Father, just as you are one with the Father. While you were with the disciples in the world, you kept them in the Father's name. None was lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. You left to be with the Father, but you spoke these things while still in the world, that I might have your joy fulfilled in me. You have given me the Father's word, and the world has hated me, because I am not of the world, even as you are not of the world. You did not pray that the Father should take me out of the world, but that the Father keep me from the evil. I am not of the world, even as you are not of the world. I am sanctified through the Father's truth. Father, thy word is truth. Jesus, you have sent me into the world, even as the Father sent you into the world. You have sanctified yourself for my sake, that I also might be sanctified through the truth. You did not pray for the original disciples alone, but for all who would believe on you through their word. And I have believed on you through their word. As the Father is in you, and you are in the Father, so all believers are one in you and the Father, that the world may believe that the Father has sent you. I have the same glory that the Father gave you. I and my Father are one even as you and the Father are one. Christ Jesus, you are in me. The Father is in you. I am made perfect in one. By this the world knows that the Father has sent you and has loved me as the Father has loved you. Lord, where you are, there am I also, that I may behold your glory which the Father has given you. For the Father loved you before the foundation of the world. The world does not know the righteous Father, but you know the Father, and I know that the Father has seen you. You have declared the Father's name unto me, and will declare that the love wherewith the Father has loved you may be in me, and that you, Lord, yourself, may be in me.